Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide Mohammed Niaz with you. This video is to show you how to fix a corrupted database of Exchange Server. So I'm going to demonstrate you two methods, one with the ESE Util and the second one is a third party tool that is Stellar Repair Exchange Recovery Tool. Both tools repair EDB files that is a database of Exchange Server which store all the emails. Many Exchange support problem involves corrupted database and the result which will not mount the database and therefore it prevent users from accessing their mailbox data. The reason for this failure may be a temporary power cutoff but it also may turn to be something serious like a DB corruption and it may come out that uh, .edb file has troubles to mount and show the status as a dirty shutdown. The same may happen even when you attempt to recover a backup file. So in those scenarios, you need a tool to repair Exchange Server database. Let us begin with ESE Util. You can run ESE Util from the Exchange Installation folder that is slash bin folder. The first command that we are going to run is ESE Util slash image following your database name. And to perform this you need to dismount your database. Most of the cases uh, you use this command because you are not able to mount your database. The important point that I need from this information is clean shutdown or dirty shutdown. Sometime it is dirty shutdown. So we need to repair it. Let us check the status of logs also. Before that we will try to go for a soft repair. To do a soft repair you have to type ecutil slash r then the prefix of log you can find this from the log folder if you go through the exchange database folder you will get the log files and from there take the first three and mention it here that is e00 in my case then following to that the log folder then following to that the database and you can see that the soft repair also failed and you can see the log does not match expected. So I think it is because I have some logs missing. So this may be the case when you try to restore a database. Sometimes the logs are not complete and you may need to do a repair. Let us check the status of logs. Now run ESE Util, then slash ML. Now this time give the log folder and this will give you the status of the logs. The information in the final line makes it clear that uh, some logs are missing. As we failed with the soft recovery option with ESE Util, the next option we have is to go for a hard repair. That is ESE Util slash P. Then following to that, enter your database name. Now you can click OK. And this takes some time based upon the size of the database. Now the hard repair has completed and you can see that it is recommended that you to go for a full backup of this database because as you repair the database probability to get this database fail is very high. So you need to make sure that you have a full backup of this database because so you need to make sure that if this operation succeeded and you are able to mount the database then immediately go for a full backup. Now let's go back to the exchange admin center and try to mount this database. Now I'm able to mount this database successfully. So we're done with ESE Util. Next we're gonna see with Stellar Repair for Exchange, the Exchange Recovery Tool. With Stellar Repair for Exchange, you are able to recover the database or the items in the database or the mailboxes in the database to a live exchange server or you can also move to Office 365 and also you are able to recover it as a PSD file or as messages or PDF. So you have all the choices uh, to get your information and you can decide where to place your uh, recovered data. And this tool also gives you a free preview of all the items inside your database that you want to repair. So this gives you an advantage before you purchase this uh, tool. You can see all the information and based upon that you can decide whether you want to go with a third party tool uh, to recover the items. So let's complete the installation. The installation is very easy. You just need to complete the wizard. 
accept the license agreement and make sure you installed Outlook uh, the same PC or the same workstation that you are installing the Stellar Repair for Exchange because it uses some Outlook uh, uh, files to connect to your Exchange server. So I completed the installation of uh, Stellar Repair for Exchange. Now let's open Stellar Repair for Exchange. And the first option I have is to select the EDB file that is the exchange database I want to recover. Uh, I will just show you how to activate this. If you have a license, you can simply go to the activation bar and enter your license key and that gives you a status activation completed. Then let's go to the offline EDB. Uh, you don't need to, to enter the license just to view your information. Uh, anyway, I have a license that is why I updated my license information. So you can open it, then click next. You have two options. You have a fast scanning option and you have an extensive scanning option. The first scanning is good uh, in case if you just want to see like what are the informations available because if you have a huge database, then fast scanning will help you to save some time. Now you can see from the accounts, I expanded the accounts user and the user inbox is listed here. And you can see the total items it could process it's very quick process now all the items are listed like how you see in outlook and if i go to other user and calendar you can see the calendar items also here so this give you a clear view of all the information an easy way to uh, see all the information that included in the database and if you go to the contacts you can see the contacts also so these two contacts only I have in this account and it also give you notes and tasks that is belongs to the user account. So now you have a clear view up to this it is free you don't need to pay anything to see this information. So this give you a very good clarity and I think this can be used also for Office 365 migrations also because as you have the EDB file and the data here and it give you a direct choice to export this content up to Office 365 you can use this for uh, migration also now what I'm showing is how to save this as a message you can save this as a message also so we are performing an item based recovery now uh, you can save it as a PDF also so it's a very simple process you can find the item and you can simply save it then you also have an option to recover this to a live exchange server for that go to the inbox or the user then right click and you can find export to exchange server and if your exchange server is higher than 2010 then just enter the email id of the user that you want to uh, move the content of this user so my destination email address is administrator then enter your exchange server name then enter the password also so this is how you can recover your user data to a live exchange server the next we have export to office 365 so you can just enter your mailbox id and password so this option is good as i told you to migrate the users or if you want to uh, migrate the user data uh, from the inbox and also if you want to migrate the old data which may be uh, very uh, huge in quantity then you can do this process as a post migration process so this tool is also good for that so having this tool uh, will help you to do multiple purpose uh, not only just to repair the data it also give you options uh, like uh, exchange uh, migration or export as a PST so this give more flexibility then you also have option to export to the public folder uh, this process is very difficult if you do through the command line so this tools also give you an easy way to do this job now the final one that is the most wanted feature that is save as a pst so you can see that uh, it converted those items into a pst and let's look at the location you can see that the destination uh, for the pst file and also the one we did earlier as a pdf and also as a message file and that is all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel.